This video describes two anomalies in expected utility theory, framing and reference points. Under expected utility theory, a person's choices should not be affected by how the options are described or by how their preferences are elicited. Kahneman and Tversky, 1984, reported the following experiment. A group of experimental participants were shown the following. Imagine that the U.S. is preparing for the outbreak of an unusual Asian disease, which is expected to kill 600 people. Two alternative programs to combat the disease have been proposed. Assume that the exact scientific estimates of the consequences of the programs are as follows. If program A is adopted, 200 people will be saved. If program B is adopted, there is a one-third probability that 600 people will be saved and a two-thirds probability that no people will be saved. Which of the two programs would you favor? 72% of participants chose option A. Another group of experimental participants were shown the following. Imagine that the U.S. is preparing for the outbreak of an unusual Asian disease, which is expected to kill 600 people. Two alternative programs to combat the disease have been proposed. Assume that the exact scientific estimates of the consequences of the programs are as follows. If program C is adopted, 400 people will die. If program D is adopted, there is a one-third probability that nobody will die and a two-thirds probability that 600 people will die. Which of the two programs would you favor? 22% of participants chose option C. 72% of participants chose A, and 22% of participants chose option C. Yet these two options are equivalent. The only difference is the framing of the options, which under expected utility theory should not matter. An auxiliary axiom of expected utility theory is that people use a reference point of zero wealth. They consider the utility of the absolute outcomes. However, consider the following two scenarios. You have not checked your share portfolio in a while. You expect that the portfolio is worth around $40,000. Today, when you check, it is worth $30,000. Do you feel rich or poor? You have not checked your share portfolio in a while. You expect that the portfolio is worth around $20,000. Today, when you check, it is worth $30,000. Do you feel rich or poor? Under expected utility theory, those two scenarios should feel the same as you have utility of $30,000 in both cases. However, in the first case, you feel poor, and in the second case, you feel rich. This is because you are comparing the outcome to your reference point of $40,000 in the first case and $20,000 in the second case. You are not assessing the absolute outcome, but appear to be using a reference point. 